Captain's Personal Log, Stardate 54303.1. Our new first officer is working out nicely, quite capable, though mildly lacking in experience. The commander will gain that with time. My ship has been assigned to the Vesuvi system to investigate the unusual solar activity hampering colonization in the Maelstrom. I hope to learn more at the Vesuvi 4 terraforming station, the sole Federation outpost in this region of space. We are also on alert for any Cardassian activity. Despite Starfleet's claims, I doubt we've seen the last of them here. Icarus 2 is approaching the station. Sir, we're getting some very strange readings from that star. Commander, emergency message from the captain. On screen. Star! Oh my god! Its core is destabilizing! Get the ship out of here! Now! Sir, warp engines not responding! Routing emergency power to impulse engines. Picking up an unidentified object warping out of the system. I can't get a good reading on it. We've cleared the system, sir. Setting course for Starbase 12 for emergency repair as ordered. on the bridge. Hello! Incoming message from Admiral Liu. I'll put it on screen. On screen. Yeah, yeah. That's what I said. Hi! Captain, I'm glad to see you're settling into the center chair. I'm Admiral Liu, Chief of Starfleet Operations in the Maelstrom. We haven't met? Starfleet has a delicate assignment for you. The impact of the Vesuvi event is still being assessed. The Dragos colony was completely destroyed when the solar wave you reported consumed Vesuvi 2. Ow. Both the Geki mining operation and the Haven colony at the edge of the system have suffered severe damage. A supply and support Not convoy is being assembled. However, this will take some time. Your job will be to make sure the immediate needs of Geki and Haven are met. I know your chief engineer hasn't had time to hammer out all the kinks after receiving your emergency repairs. But the Dauntless is the only ship in the area equipped to take on this operation. Don't worry. Proceed to Starbase 12 to take on emergency yeah, medical supplies, personnel, engineers, and equipment for the relief of the Geki and Haven colonies. Okie dokie. Captain Jean-Luc Picard Ooh. of the USS Enterprise will join you aboard Dauntless <gasps> for this mission. <laughs> the captain recently was a guest lecturer at the Academy and has accompanied your new first officer from Earth. Oh, good. When your mission is completed, deliver Captain Picard to Birunu Station, where he will be speaking at a symposium. A symposium? Time is of the essence, Captain. Unnecessary delays will cost lives. Liu out. And I can't talk over you. So, Picard, huh? Yes, the oh. ruins on Tega 6 are spectacular. 
I'll be sure to mention your good taste in my formal report. Hello, Cap Captain. I thought Captain. formal reports covered more serious matters. They do indeed. And I must say, you have certainly done a thorough review of your new crewmates, Commander. I commend your... What opinion. resolution you have, Thank Picard! Thank you, Captain. Captain, Jean-Luc Picard, a pleasure to meet you. Yes. I understand you served as this vessel's first officer. Yes. I knew Captain Wright. We went to the Academy together. Oh. You have my sincere condolences on his loss. However, if he saw fit to select you as his number one, I'm sure you'll do extremely well commanding the Dauntless. Oh, I would bet. like to introduce you to your new first officer, Hi. Commander Safi Larson. Captain, I'm looking forward to working with you. It was my Likewise. good fortune and pleasure yeah. to accompany the Commander to Starbase 12. It's been a while since I've been on the bridge of a Galaxy-class starship. It seems so familiar to me from the years I spent aboard the Enterprise D. Sir, mm. perhaps Captain Picard could take the Dauntless out of Dry Dock. No, Commander, that would be presumptuous. I'm sure her new captain would like to take the Dauntless out for the first time. Please, sir, be our guest. We insist. That is most kind. I would be honored. Yeah. Commander Larson, if you will take your station. Commander Larson will keep track of your mission objectives and current orders, Captain. But Carr's giving me a tutorial. My mouse disposal. isn't moving. As a former first, you already had that experience yourself. Commander Larson, bring us to condition green and ready the ship for departure. I, sir. Oh. Condition green. I wonder. All hands rig for departure. It's not really Chief, my mouse. Please bring the main deflector, warp drive, and impulse engines online. And make sure our warp intermix ratio is at optimum efficiency. I, Captain. Main deflector and main drive systems register as ready. You're blue. Mr. Diaz, bring main sensors online. You sure doesn't know everybody. All worker bees in the area are clear. Yes, sir. Main sensors online. Registering all worker bees out of dry dock area, Captain. Mr. Savali, please bring the structural integrity fields online and make sure our tactical systems are primed and ready. Shields and defensive systems registering is fully operational, sir. We have a full torpedo complement and these structural integrity fields are engaged for transport. We're a galaxy class ship, we'll be fine. Clear all moorings and take us out easy. One quarter impulse. Please signal the quartermaster. We're heading out. Signaling dry dock. All moorings cleared. One quarter impulse. Aye. Wee! That was one quarter. We just like took out, took off, just gone. Captain, the bridge is yours. If you would like, take a moment to inspect each of the stations. If you would like any advice, feel free to consult with me. Do you stay on the Dauntless? Blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Captain, it is always a good idea to check with your first officer to confirm your current orders. So, all right. Now that I can talk, um. Yeah, welcome to Bridge Commander. Uh, this is a 2002 game um, by I think Totally Games and something else. I I forget. I'm forgetful. But yeah, so you are a captain. Technically, I'm a commander. Uh, this is the USS Dauntless, a Galaxy Class starship, which you can see right here. And there was a way to move about the ship, but I can't remember it for the life of me. Uh, there's something kind of wrong, by the way, with the menu. It does not like me, so we'll see how this works. And I don't know if the if Fraps is recording it, but every once in a while, it, the the screen is blinking, and it's kind of annoying. Now, anyway, camera, camera rotation is shift. I see. Okay, and I can zoom out like this. So yeah, here's the ship we're in. The Dauntless, which, uh, if you're familiar with Star Trek, you're probably familiar with this type of ship. Um, I'm currently running the game at widescreen. It does not approve of this either. It's a 4x3 game, for sure. And as you can see, it's kind of dated. With, uh, mouth textures and all that good stuff. But it was a very fun game. Uh, so I have. Safi Larson here is my first officer, as it, she was introduced. The tactical station is over here in this, for gameplay purposes. Welcome back, sir. Those captain's pips suit you. Your order, sir? Yes, and now, you could use any of these stations to do everything. <clears throat> if you would like any advice, feel free to consult with me. Shut up, Picard. I'm talking to my watcher guys. So, your order, sir? This is the tactical guy. He gives you your information if you look at him. And uh, you can have them target friendlies and enemies and all that, and shoot them, or for whichever ways you want. 
This is a uh, Congratulations, helm. sir. Captain Wright would be very proud of you. The Your orders, sir. This is Bajoran. And uh, this is where you move about. Go to warping places and all that. Yes, Captain. She does other things, like set the uh, alert conditions and all that. This is your guest seat. This is science. Congratulations, Commander. Uh, I mean, Captain. Your orders, sir. <laughs> um, you do your sciencey stuff, and over here is engineering. Congratulations, Captain. Your orders, sir. I don't recall what the hell he is, but he's blue and he has a line on his face. So, blue line face people. You set your power levels, which uh, you can. If you're in red alert, then your weapons and shields will come online. And you can set all this stuff to either lower or higher. If you go higher, you start draining from your battery or reserve or something. Something like that. Um, I do have like one mod going on in this version of the uh, game. So my ship is slightly different. I can sh the, the the mod. Th I don't know what exactly it all does. I, f I can't recall. But it changes some ships. For instance, this ship is slightly different than the uh, regular game version. It looks a little different. I think it has more texture. And uh, the weapon systems are different. For instance, in the uh, stock game, only the main uh, two phaser arrays work. You can't shoot behind you with your phasers. You have, on the Galaxy class, two rear torpedo tubes and four forwards and I believe it's different with this one I believe these all these phaser banks work and it's like four from behind and like eight or ten from in front which is more realistic for the ship yeah, it may be balanced or not I'm not certain we'll find out and I can always run the game unmodded it's a simple procedure I just have to restart you can control the ship without your tactical officer. You can set your speeds, move about freely. You can target yourself and all that. Now you can target things yourself. And you can smash into things. Although your ship uh your helmsman and your well not your first officer will usually bitch and change your course if you try doing that. <laughs> but yeah so I should get on. This is the controls. Yes, I can't click the close button because I'm at widescreen. That's grand. I hope that goes away. Um. So now. Your orders, Captain. Okay, this is my log. My objectives. Head to Starbase Sir, we 12. should head to Starbase 12 to pick up the supplies. All right. May yes, I suggest Captain? testing the other mode of starship operation? I did it. The direct tactical interface. Your orders, Use sir. the space bar on your command console to toggle between the two views. Yeah. Space bar. Okay. <laughs> Set courses. Well then, let's get underway. I'm sure your chief engineer is anxious to make sure the warp engines are functioning correctly. Yes. Shall I set a course for Starbase 12, sir? Please. Course laid in. Engage. Yes, sir. So a small warping thing, and then whoop, here we are. We have arrived at Starbase 12, Captain. Shall I bring us in closer to the Starbase, sir? Yes, please. We will not be able to initiate a dock until we are closer to the Starbase. Ensign Lomar can bring us in closer by flying to the Starbase nav point. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, she goes at a, uh, a faster speed. I think there was a way to do it yourself, but I can't remember how. So, of course, you don't have to wait for the maximum speed that you typically can go to get somewhere. Someone just Incoming walked in. Incoming message from Starbase 12, sir. Hi. Good day, Dauntless. I'm Commander Graf, commander here at Starbase 12. It's good to see your ship back in one piece. One piece? We've assembled the supplies for your mission, Captain. We will transfer them over to your cargo base once you've docked. Shall I initiate docking procedures, Captain? Yes, you don't have to ask orders, me sir. every damn time. Docking sequence initiated. And then Starbase 12 is the main staging area I'm for Federation operations in the Maelstrom. 
Any damage repairs or resupply needs you have will be attended to here. I see. Okay. Thank you, Captain. Welcome to your home away from home, Captain. We are secured to take on ship supplies, sir. Transferring supplies. <laughs> Cargo base three and four report supplies have been received and stowed for transport. Well, they're quick. Transporter room two reports that the medical and engineering teams have beamed aboard, sir. Room two. And now we leave. Yay! We okay. Once upon a time, I think you were able to fly around in here, but I don't know if that was uh, my bad memory, a glitch, or I just don't know how to do it anymore. Anyway, and now we have to head to one of those colonies, I think. Yes, sir. Yeah, Haven. Yes, Captain. The Suvi. Course laid in. Yes, sir. Now that's a nice warp screen. There we go. <laughs> we have arrived at the edge of the Vesuvi system, sir. We are being hailed by the Haven Colony. Opening channel. Hi. This is Director Tobin Soames. It's good to see you, Dauntless. You sound familiar. We have quite a situation on our hands. The Vesuvi event has sent stellar debris into our region. Some larger pieces have settled near our orbital facility. Settled? This debris will make it impossible for the incoming supply convoy to transfer their cargo. Eh. Before you beam down the relief supplies to the surface, please clear the area around the orbital facility. Please Contact initiate me when you are done. combat Thank you. tutorial. Soames out. Not the most challenging assignment, but it'll be a good weapons test. Perhaps now will be a good time to look over the tactical systems. How convenient. Um, are we in system yet? I can't tell where I am! Current location, Haven Colony. Okay, you. Your orders, Captain? I will let you do this. Because I am a nice guy. Why is my frame rate dropping? Okay. Um, destroy this. Initiating tactical maneuver. Aye, Captain. Going to red alert will bring the weapons online, sir. Well, obviously, I want to shoot the weapons! Yes, sir? Please, go to red alert. So red we can shields up. blow up this asteroid. Your orders, Captain? Destroy. Engaging to destroy, Captain. As you can see, we are currently 90s. Oh, never mind. I can hit this button right here to show the front. Moving into attack. Captain? Here, here. That's nice and all, but. Your um, orders, sir? Here, now he will target everybody. And what was, uh... Oops. Uh-oh. I think I accidentally hit my recording button. Falling back for an attack run. Um, there may have been a small pause there. That's because I derped and hit the recording button. I might have to change that. Sure, got it so loud! Okay. Um, there is a button. Shut up. What was the button? What was the button? Camera. Shit. Scroll lock. Moving into attack range. Oops. Jump up my uh crap thing right back where it goes. Okay. Now scroll lock. There we go. On screen. Um so the forwards button is my record button, forward screen. So I will uh not be hitting that anytime soon. So enjoy the uh on screen version. <laughs> Now, I would do the battle myself typically, but for asteroids, Felix can handle Sweeping it. Through phaser arcs. He likes to sweep through phaser arcs. 
it's his favorite pastime. Sweeping through phaser arcs. And I got annoyed at him wasting torpedoes on rocks. Moving into attack range. So I like how it looks like that to the that's just funny looking. Is he missing? I hope he's not missing. Sweeping through phaser arcs. Oh, I think we're about That's the it. Last of the debris. Shall I raise the colony, sir? Yes, raise Your the orders, colony. Sir. We're gonna raise it with our phasers. Wait, unless you meant something else. Wait. Yeah, okay. You, you. Sir, the orbital Shut facility up. is okay. currently unmanned. Hailing frequencies open. Thank you for clearing the I just station, can't say yes, can I? It looks like we have bigger problems now. Oh? The sensors on our orbital facility have just picked up a number of planetary fragments on a collision course with our planet. <gasps> we are already in a weakened state after the Vesuvi event, and it's doubtful we could take many hits. You can Direct take Soma. hits? Get your people into whatever shelters you have available. We'll do what we can from our How do you take an asteroid you, Dauntless. smashing into Soma's your planet? Out. I recommend an initial scan of the area so we can get a better idea of what we're up against. Scanning tutorial. Yes, sir. Initiating scan. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Picking up the fragments in our sensor, sir. Looks like we have a total of five large planetary fragments in two groups. Looks like they're all headed toward Haven. If we can get to them, damn asteroids. Enough, there's a pretty good chance we can take them all out. Stellar cartography should be able to present a good idea of the fragments' relative distance to the colony. Your orders, Captain. Uh, do I do that? Yeah. Yes, sir. Destroy planetary fragments. Okay. Your orders, Captain. You. I could bring us within range of the fragments, sir. We can break them up with weapons fire once we're in range. Yes. Your orders, Intercept. sir. Intercept course plotted. Whoosh! Uh, how do we not see them? Perhaps Lieutenant Savali should be given Your the orders, orders, Captain. To destroy the target. Thank you, Captain. Engaging to destroy, Captain. Yes, sir. Target at will. Which pretty much means shoot everything. And a higher recharge rate on the phases, Chief Rex can lose power to the weapon. I'm sure he can. Careful not to rob power from other essential systems. By taking an Moving active into role attack, and allocating power between your shields, weapons, and propulsion systems, your vessel's capabilities can be augmented to suit the situation. I'm a pretty rounded up person, though. I think I'll be fine. Unless they smash into the planet, and then I won't be. Sweeping through face I wish this would look at the, uh, you know, rock I'm shooting, instead of just my ship. Yeah, you, you see those phasers in the back aren't supposed to be there, typically. And the, uh, stock version. Moving into attack range. But it's kind of silly. Why have phaser arrays there if you don't use them? Might I recommend diverting some power to the impulse engines? It will increase the ship's speed and decrease the time Moving it takes into to get from one range. set of fragments to another. You can uh, suggest it. Yes. Uh, what was? It? Okay, I can look yes, at him Captain. for this. You see here we have this is our tactical weapon systems overlay and our shields overlay, and then this. And I can't see everything right because of the resolution Order, of my causing issues. But. Sir, the fragments are closing on the planet. We might still have time to catch them. Okay, turn off the torpedo issue. There's only one more fragment anyway. Lining up forward torpedo. Anyway, so these show different bars of shields, each direction. Sir, we did it. All incoming fragments have been reduced to non-lethal size. Damages. We are being this hailed your by the Haven health. Colony. Opening channel. I'm being talked to. The people of Haven owe you and your crew a debt of gratitude, Captain. We owe our lives to your courage and moving quick into attack range. Again, we yes, thank sir? you. If you will put your ship into orbit, we can transfer the relief supplies. Standing by to establish orbit, Captain. That guy has a funny headband. Uh, what was I saying? Oh. Yes, Captain. And uh, this is our phasers and our phasers. And our torpedoes. Typically, in the stock game, this right here would show uh, two different layers. I don't know why they changed it, but hey, whatever. I can just go into the uh, stock game if I 
care that much. I also don't know what's up with this. I, th I guess this is the, uh... This is just it compressing. It would be a... The shields are one forward, one back, one side, one side, one top, one bottom. So your top and bottom is actually your weakest because they're so big. And uh, this is also true for yes, enemy sir? ships. Standard orbit. Aye, sir. I like how it just stops like that. <laughs> Oh no! We're gonna orbit. smash into the planet! Incoming transmission. No, but we'll be fine. I think. I am sending coordinates for your people to beam down. My subdirectors will advise them when they arrive. Subdirectors. Receive, Captain. Our teams will begin beaming down supplies and personnel immediately. Lowering shields for transport. Thank you, Captain. Yes, sir. We weren't prepared for Cancel a disaster of alert. this magnitude. Admiral Liu told us what happened to the Dragos colony. We've been unable to contact Mr. Takahara on the Geki mining colony. I can only hope their outpost survived the effects of the disturbance. I like how they call we it do a have disturbance some industrial and a, and replicators event. in storage. If they would be of assistance, we would be happy to loan them to the Geki colonists. Thank you, Director Soames. I'm sure they could make use of them in their repairs. From the reports we have, their damage is extensive. Sir, all supplies and equipment have been beamed down. We're bringing the replicators up now. Again, thank you, Dauntless. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't arrived when you did. Transport uh, complete. We can get underway, Captain. I do. Incoming message from Starfleet, sir. Hi, Lou. Captain, one of our ships, the Sovereign, is on its way to our space dock facilities the for Sovereign. Refitting. She's manned by a skeleton crew and is being escorted by two Klingon birds of prey. Oh. Her captain, Jonathan Soto, has reported a breakdown in her warp drive and she's had to lay over in the Tevron system. The Klingons are under orders to divert to Birnu Station and will not be able to stay with her. However, they will be able to transport Captain Picard there with them. <laughs> Rendezvous with the Sovereign in the Tevron system and join the escort. Once the Sovereign is underway again, you are to continue your mission and deliver the relief supplies to the Geki colony. Liu out. Don't they normally give orders like this in your ready room or something? I don't know. Well... Yes, Captain. I guess we're going to set a course for Tevron. Course laid in. And get on out of here. Yes, sir. Leaving orbit. Whoa, that was weird. So, we're going to get rid of Picard and give him to some Klingons. And why are Klingons escorting the Sovereign? I don't know. I mean, I know we, we have an alliance and all that, but still. Don't we have ships? Approaching the Tevron system, sir. Any sign of the Sovereign and her escorts, Mr. Diaz? I have three ships holding in orbit around Tevron 2, Commander. Tevron 2 it is. Your orders, sir. I am at Tevron 2. Go good. Captain? Any, uh... Yes, sir? Yes, sir? Hmm. Guess I have to target yes, it. Yes, sir? Captain? Now? Intercept course plotted. Intercept. That's the sovereign, Captain. And two birds of prey. Shall I hail the sovereign, sir? See. Si. Hail the sovereign. Your orders, Captain. Ah, a beautiful ship. Hail the sovereign. Channel open. Captain Soto, sir. Soto. On screen. Congratulations on your promotion to command, Captain. Thank you. I'm glad to see you here. Thank you. Repairs are progressing, but we only have a skeleton crew on board, so it's taking that some time. That must be creepy. We've had to take the impulse engines offline, so we're immobile until the repairs are complete. This would have been only a ferrying assignment. He's undoubtedly short-handed. Incoming message, Very sir. Very short-hand. Captain Draxon of the Rancouf, sir. On screen. Hi. Hail, Captain. Your timely arrival frees my ship and the Traor to depart for Biranu Station. Yes. However, there is something you must know before we leave. Oh. My tactical officer reported suspicious readings on his scanners on our way here. Suspicious in what way, sir? Two very faint readings, fading in and out. He thinks we may have been followed by at least two vessels. Close. Your scanners could be out of sync. <laughs> 
Not on my ship, Lieutenant. No! I speak truth. I would stay, but our duty demands we reach Biranu Station on our timetable. Timetable. Be on guard. Getting on timetable. Excuse me, sir, but we have company. Two warbirds uncloaking to starboard. See? The scanners are flying. Well, two warbirds. I guess they want a ship. They're hailing us, sir. On screen. Hi, you're a lady. Captain, I am Torin, commanding the warbird Soriac. With respect, Captain, do you have some business with us? The Romulan Star Empire is well aware of the incident in the Vesuvi system. Mm -hmm. That was troubling. Now we have further cause for concern. The Enterprise has been patrolling the Maelstrom for quite some time. Now Starfleet has introduced this second Sovereign-class ship to the Maelstrom. A somewhat disputed area. Oh my. We must question the reasons for its presence, and its relationship to the Vesuvi event. <laughs> I can assure you neither Starfleet nor the Federation knows any more than you do about the cause of the Vesuvi incident. Two Sovereign-class vessels raise vast suspicions, Commander. Oh, Romulans. To act on. Now. Sir, the Klingons have raised their shields and are powering up weapons. I guess it's time to do battle. Let's see if these Romulans are truly prepared to act on these bail threats. Who is threatening whom, Klingon? I do not threaten. I challenge. Rawr. The Klingons have opened fire, Captain. Very well. Firing on the we shall play. Sovereign has taken some hits. Oh, 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 whoa, 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 Sovereign. Shit. Shields. You have no shields! Down 25%. I'm shifting more power to the shield, but I don't think they'll hold. Shall Sovereign we go to red alert, are failing sir. rapidly, sir. Yes, Transmission yes, red from alert. Captain Soto, sir. Red alert, shields up. Dogs, we've taken a bad hit. We feel they're holding, but we don't have the power to maintain them for long. With respect, sir, are we just going to watch the Sovereign be destroyed? The Dauntless is your ship, Captain. The choice is yours. Choice! There is no there. choice. They're firing. Captain Dragon, on screen, sir. We are attacking I'm attacking to join us. Report the Klingons the warfare. The Romulans are busy with the birds of prey. Sir, we can take Ram a moment Kuf has been destroyed. Attack. The Klingon Whoa. High Council will be most upset at the loss of Captain Draxon's ships. Captain, I had hoped to avoid this, but it appears you are not yet ready uh -huh. to command the Federation ship in battle. I hereby relieve you of command. Lieutenant Savali, bring her about. Huh? Okay. I blame the mod. What the hell was that? <laughs> Let's try this with the stock. 